Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will learn about the subnet mask, which is an important concept in the networking fundamentals. So, in the last video, we have learned about the MAC address, IP address, and IPv6 address. And here is the subnet mask about which we will learn in this topic. Every IP address has two parts one called network address, and other called host address. Network address is also known as server address, and host address is also known as client address. And subnet mask plays an important role to figure out that which part of this IP address is network address and which part is host address. Let's say we have an IP address that is 173.16.0.0 and we are told to find out the network address and host address. But without the subnet mask, we cannot find out network address and host address. So here it has given us the uh, subnet mask also. So let's say how to figure out the network address and host address of this IP address using this subnet mask. To understand the subnet mask, you have to convert the subnet mask into binary format. That is we know that 255 is the numeric format of all 1 and 255 again it means that all 8 bits are 1 and then 0 mean all 8 bits are 0 and then 0 mean all 8 bits are 0. So here it has combined both that is this is our IP address in binary format and this is our, our subnet mask in binary format. So in our subnet mask all the bits which have once it means that that portion of IP address is network address and all the bits which are 0 that portion of IP address is host address. In subnet mask, you have to clear one thing also that all the one will be the leading one. It is not possible that uh, here two after three zeros then again become one and after three zeros again become one. It is not possible. If it is eight one, then it will be eight one, then there will be straight zero. If there are 16 one, then it will be 16 one and then will be straight zero. If uh, there, is, uh, there are 24 one, that means it will be straight ones leading one that no uh, there will be no zero between them and then there will be zero so leading z leading ones and then all will be zeros in the subnet mask so here it is telling that all the portion in in the subnet mask which have one that portion of the ip address will be network portion and all the portion which have zero in the subnet mask that portion of the ip address will be called host portion here we have seen the example of subnet mask in which eight bits are one Let's see the other examples of the subnet mask. Let's say here is the another type of subnet mask in which only first octet is 255 then all are zero. It means that in this the first portion of the IP address will be called network mask here and is showing that it is network mask and then all other three octets will be host part. Here is another example in which first two octets are 255, 255 it means the first two octets are leading ones. So if any IP address has this subnet mask, that IP address will have first 16 bits as a network portion and another last 16 will be as a host portion. Then if any IP address has this subnet mask in which first three octets are 255 and then last one is zero, then in the, that the first 24 bits will be called our network bits and the last eight bits will be called as a host bits. So let's say we have this IP address. In this, we have 192.168.45.2 and we have subnet mask as a 255.255.255.0. It means we have first three octet as a leading one. It means these are 81 and these again are 81 and these again are 81, then these are zero. So all portion which have one will be called our network portion. So let's say here, right, network portion and host portion will be. Similarly, if we have 0 here in place of 255 and here again 0, then it means that we will have only first portion of the IP address as a network portion and remaining will be called our host portion because that contain our 0 bits. So I hope this concept will be clear for you. Here in this case, we will have only 192 as a network portion and here we will contain 168.45.2 as a host portion. So here is an, another example of subnet mask that our 255.255.255.0 subnet mask is translated as first translated as ones then those one will be known as the bits. So here 24 bits are known as the network bits and we have 8 bits as a zero so 8 bits will be called our host bits. So if you do not uh, given the whole subnet mask like this you can also given the subnet mask like slash 24. So if you are given the slash 24 as a subnet mask so you should 
would understand that our uh, subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 because we have 24 bits on this means slash if you have slash 8 then it means you you have uh, only 8 bits as a own let's say you have 8 it means that you have only first eight bits as a own and then you have all zeros again zero and again zero so it means you have subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 so if you are given the slash uh, subnet mask as a slash 16 so it means you have one in first eight one then you have again one as eight and then you have all zeros so here if you count the first these are 16 16 bits our network bits then other are our host bits so here our ip address will become if you we translate these one into 255 255 dot 255.0.0 so it will be our subnet mask so you are you can be uh, given the subnet mask in the exam in the two formats that first format is 255.0.0.0 and other format is slash 8 because in this uh, form our only 8 bits will become uh, on so our subnet mask will become uh, slash 18 so this notation is called cedar notation or slash notation you can call it by any name here is another example of net, uh, network bits here we have these 26 bits on because we have in the last portion we also have first two bits on so here our uh, subnet mask will become 255 255 255 then we will translate these into uh, our that is first will be our become 128 then another will become 64 and we will add that and uh, in this our uh, cedar notation will become slash 26 because we have 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2 so it will become 26 so if anyone uh, told you that uh, you have forward slash 26 as a subnet mask so you can translate it into this because 164 plus 92 plus 60 128 plus 64 become 192 i think on the basis of uh, numberings of ip addresses we have divided ip addresses into different classes on the basis of their numberings for example if any ip address is starting from 1 to 127 that is the first octet of any ip address is starting from 1 to 127 then it will be fall into the class a let's say we have an ip address of 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. here it is saying that uh, leading weights so its first octet is starting from 10 that is between the range of 1 to 127 so it will be fall into our class a that Let's say we have an IP address of 120.20.20.0. So it is again falling into uh, between the range of 1 to 127 its first octet so we will say that it is fall into the class a then we have a next class that is class b in this class we have 128 to 191 so if we have between the 128 to 191 then it will be fall into the class b that is let's say we have an ip address of 150.2.2.1 so here our first octet is between the 2128 to 191 so it will be fall into the class b so if it is 191 then it will be again fall into the class b if it is a 132 dot something then it will be again fall into the class b then we have class c in this if any ip address first octet is between the 192 to 223 then it will be fall into the class c let's say we have an ip address of 192 that is mostly private ip addresses are also given in this category 192.168.2.1 then it will be its first octet is between the 192 which means it is falling in this category that is 192 to 223 next we have class d if first octet of any ip address is between the 224 to 239 then it will fall into the class d let's say we have an ip address of uh, 225.0.0.1 then it will be our class d ip address then we have class e if any ip address is between the range of 240 to 254 first octet then it then it will be our class e ip address here it is showing that the 127.0.0.0 slash 8 network is reserved as a loop back address for testing and ping and debugging purposes so our concept of identifying the classes of ip addresses is cleared so if you are given any uh, ip address of any class then you should be able to figure out its class let's say uh, as an example let's say we have ip address of 192.168.1.1 so it will be ip address of which class because it is between the range of 192 to 223 so it will be our class c so let's say we have an ip address of 132.16 
15.3.2 so its class will be its first octet is between the range of 128 to 191 so it will be our class b ip address class is equal to b so let's say we have another ip address of uh, 10.15.2.2 so what will be class of this ip address because it is between the range of 1 to 126 or 127 then its class will be a so let's say we have again ip address of 120.2.2.1 so what will be the class of this ip address its class will be again class a so let's say we have another ip address of 225.23.4.2 so it is between the range of 224 to 239 then it will be our class d address so our concept of ip classes of ip address is cleared next concept is our subnet mask that on the basis of these classes our predefined subnet mask are reserved here it is showing that the class d is for multicast purpose and class e is reserved for testing purpose that is the uh, engineering council uh, is practiced for themselves so these are reserved but we will you will see commonly the ip addresses between the these three classes range that is class a class b and class c so if you are not given the uh, subnet mask of any class you should be understand that if any class is between the range of class a its subnet mask default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 so class a it means the first class will have 1255 then class b the default subnet mask of class b is 255.255.0.0 then we have class c so it will have 3 255 that is 3 octet will be as a 255 so you should be clear that here it is if any uh, ip address between the 1 to 127 so it is class a so it will have 1 255 in its subnet mask default subnet mask so you should be uh, clear from the ip address that this ip address has sub subnet mask of this here we can say that it is 192.168. it is class 3 it is class c then its subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 so because it has class c so it will have 3 255 if it is class b it will have 2 255 it will be like this so if anyone is class a so its subnet mask will be 1255 that is default subnet mask it is default subnet mask will be 1255.0.0.0 so we have learned about the dvn of ip addresses on the basis of their first octet and then we have learned about the that class a will have the subnet mask of 255 and b will have two first two octet as a 255 and class c will have first three octet as a 355 from these subnet mask we can also learn that what are the network bits and the host bits of this ip address let's say the class a has the subnet mask of 255.0.0 so it will be like this that 81 and then leading then 0 then 80 then 0 so we can calculate from here that net network bits are 8 and host bits are 24 so here it is also showing that the network bits are 8 and remaining bits are 24. So in the next we can say that it has 2 times 255.255 which means that it's, it will be binary format. It will be like 81 dot then again 81 dot then 0 then again 0. So here we can calculate dot network bits are 16 and host bits are also 16. So here it is also showing that we have network bits as a 16 and host bits as a also 16. Then next is it is saying that class C will have first three octet as a 255. It means that it will be have 181, then again 81, then again 81, then 0. So here we can calculate that network bits are 24 and host bits are 8. So here it is also showing that network bits are 24 and host bits are 18. Let's say we have an IP address of 10.74.222.11. So from the first octet we can find out that it is from the class A and from class A we can say that its subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0. So from only seeing the IP address we have figured out two things that it is from the class A that what is the its subnet mask and from the subnet mask we can also say that its network bits will be 8 and its host bits will be 24 then next concept we have to learn that in the host part of every ip address we have two ip address as a reserved that is called the network address and broadcast address so if you say that uh, 10.74.222.11 is the host address then we can say that its subnet mask is 255 so its first portion uh, will not be touched and other can uh, become zero so we will make other as a zero so whole next portion is zero because next three we have in the subnet mask 
mask is zero so you will, we mask the ip address on the basis of our subnet mask so from this we can calculate that the first zero that is the first ip address so its first ip address should be 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. then the second should be 10.0.0.1 .0 .0 then third should be 10.0.0.2 so uh, so on and uh, this hierarchy will go on but its first uh, ip address uh, is not 10.0.0 because it is reserved as a network address so every ip the first ip address of every uh, host portion is reserved at a as a network address and last ip address that is 255.255.255 will be our broadcast address so here we can calculate the first order address by adding the one to the network address that is our zero so our network address will be one and we can uh, subtract the one from the broadcast address to find out the our last address that is our 254 so let's say it with another example so let's say we have this ip address and we will figure out all these things on the basis of this ip address so from this 132 we can say that it is from which class because it is ranging from 1 to 127 no it is not between this range so it is between the range of first octet is between the 128 to 191 yes it is from that range so its class will be class is equal to b so on the basis of class b we can figure out its subnet mask that if class is b then it will have two first two octet as a 255 that is leading zeros so its subnet mask will become 255 dot so its subnet mask is this and next we have to calculate four things that is first is network address and next is our broadcast and next is our first ip and then we have to find out the last ip so to find out these from the basis of these um, subnet mask we can say that the first two portion that are leading ones we will not touch them so we will write them as they as they are that is 132.42 so in all these it will be remain same 132.42 and in this will it will also same 132.42 and in this also same 132.42 dot dot so what is what will be our next portion so as it is saying that next is our 0.0, .0 we will make its next portion as a 0.0, .0. .0. so let's say network address will become 0.0, .0 because network address is our first ip address so it will become our first ip address when we make 0.0, .0. if we make one addition in it like 0.1 so it will be our next ip address if it will make 0.2 it will be our uh, next ip address so it will be goes on to 255 so from 255 onward this next ip address will become 1.255 then 1 dot then again it will the series will be uh, from starting from 0 to 255 then it will be changed to 2 dot then series will be gone so uh, in this way our ip addresses will be figured out so let's say we have the uh, 0 because our first ip address is network address and it will be known as a here it is saying that for to figure out the uh, network address set all host bit to 0 so you will set all host bit these are our host bit these are our network bits and these are host bits so we set the host bit to 0 so our network address is this so then it is saying that for broadcast address set all host bit to 1 because these are first uh, two are our 16 are our network bits and next uh, next will be our host bits so we have to set all those bits to the 1 that will be 81.81 so 181 mean we have 255.255 okay then next we have first ip address so uh, it is saying that for to find out first ip address you have to add one to the network address so here it is our network address we have to add one to this so we will say that 0.1 so it will be our first ip address so it is saying that to find out last ip address minus one from the broadcast address so here it, it is our broadcast address we will minus one from this so it will become 255.254 so by this you can figure out the class subnet mask network address broadcast address first ip address and last ip address from any ip address given to you we will see uh, further examples in the our next topic which will be our subnetting part so here are some uh, further uh, conversion for your understanding charts for your understanding that uh, to understand to make your uh, calculation quickly 2 raised to power 1 call 2 then 2 raised to power 2 is 4 and similarly these 
or further calculation and uh, there are other portion that to convert from the decimal to binary and binary to decimal you can say that here it is, it is our 255 so if all bits are one then it will be our 255 it only last will become zero and all other one then it will be 254 if last two bits are zero and other are one then that octet will become 252 and uh, similarly if all are zero then it will be all zero if only first bit is on then it will become 128 and the so on you have to memorize these charts and uh, you can keep these chart and uh, uh, make your calculations faster so i will share these charts in the description so subnet mask is the first step of the topic of the subnetting so without understanding the subnet mask you cannot understand the subnetting so make sure you understand this topic and uh, next topic we will learn about the subnetting so that's it for today thank you very much